Here is a test problem for you to understand intercepts of line in space R3. Now remember one thing. It is not necessary for a line in space to really have x, y or z intercepts, right? Well, the line will cross planes and it could cross the plane at the axis also. So therefore, the question here is, a line is defined by x, y, z equals to minus 1, 3, minus 5 plus t times 3k minus 2. Determine, if possible, the value of k in each case. The line has x-intercept and the line has a z-intercept. Right? I'll do one of these questions for you. The next one you can do following the same pattern. Right? Now, if a line has an x-intercept, so at that x-intercept, what could be the point? The point could be a, the x-intercept value, 0, 0. So that is the point which we are looking for. So we are basically looking for the value of a in this case. Now to find a, what we can do is, the line has to be on this given line. So let me write general equation of this line, which is x is equals to minus 1, 3t, plus 3t, y is equals to 3 plus kt and z is equals to minus 5 minus 2t. Now the idea is that x value we need to find but y and z are zeros. So these y and z's will give us a value of k and we can then see if we get 0 for others or not. Right? So let's start with any one of them. So we can put y as 0 and find the value of k. So if I put y as 0, what do I get? I get 0 equals to 3 plus kt. And if I put z as 0, what do I get? I get 0 equals to minus 5 minus 2t. So now we have two equations. And from two equations, we can always get our unknown, right? So there are two unknowns and two equations. So from the second equation, we can find what t is. So from this equation, we know t should be equals to, we'll take 2t on this side, and so t equals to minus 5 over 2, minus 5 over 2. Now we can substitute this value here and solve for k, right? So what do we get? So we get 0 equals 2, so we are doing both the equations simultaneously, plus k and well it was minus 5 I made a mistake here so when we take 2t on this side let me do it here so 2t equals to minus 5 and t equals to minus 5 over 2 now we'll substitute this value of t in the first equation so we get k times minus 5 over 2 and therefore from here we can get k equals to We'll take 3 on this side, so minus 3 times 2 over minus 5. That gives us a value of k, which is minus and minus becomes plus 6 over 5, right? So we did get a value of k. But the important thing is that for this value of t, actually speaking, what should be the value of x? So let's write down the same value here for t and calculate what x is. So what do we get? We get x equals to minus 1 plus 3 times and t is minus 5 over 2, which is minus 1 minus 15 over 2. And that gives us a value of x, which is minus 2 minus 15, which is minus 17 over 2. So, we get indeed an x-intercept and therefore we can write down our answer. Answer is x-intercept will be minus 17 over 2, 0, 0 for k equals to the value of k which we calculated is here 6 over 5. 
okay so I used randomly some numbers I mean sequences to solve but I hope you get the process of doing it so follow the same procedure and try to get the Z intercept but remember one thing in this example we do have a variable here and only that value of k is giving us x-intercept otherwise we will not get x-intercept the line may cross x y axis the whole plane somewhere else but not at the x-axis do you understand so that is what I want to highlight here I hope you understand and appreciate thank you and all the best